The secrets of the market is simple. Buy low and sell high. <laughs> Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. That's right, the video game show that is not hosted by an annoying e-beggar. There is no Patreon, no Super Chats. That's right, we just talk about the games we love and how fun it is to hoard them. I mean, uh, collect them. Now, with that said, let's get ready for the show. On today's episode... This show is intended for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. Today I wanted to talk about the bubble in the market that we're going through when it comes to video games. You know, bubbles in any market are not uncommon, right? And there's certain, certain factors that drive it and commonalities in many instances. One of the things that I hear from people when they talk about the value of video games or analyzing the prices, a lot of it has to do with how they feel about a particular game, how they feel about a particular brand, or how do they feel about a particular franchise. Nowadays, the market is being manipulated by speculators, investors, and they have ruined several markets. For example, the coin market back in the day, which still to this day has not recovered. That is happening right now in the video game industry. We have, you know, people that we talked about before, you know, the whole WADA fiasco and, you know, people manipulating prices on eBay, so on and so forth. So prices are really high, but I wanted to take a look at a chart here, a basic chart of a bubble in any market. And this, even though this is for the stock market, it really applies to everything. All right, guys, so here's the chart. So I want to say a lot of people started collecting around 2008, 2010, right? And that's really when um, people started collecting games in mass. It wasn't popular, but people were getting nostalgic. At that point, um, people of my generation, maybe a little bit older, started retiring and started seeing that their collections that they had bought for 50 cents, a lot of it, a lot of it less than a dollar, were worth a lot of money. So they actually did the first sell-off. That's why you see the market, the Atari market, down now. Um, but right after that, you know, around those times also, YouTube started picking up and started becoming the mass media for most video game collectors, right? That's, this is where we came to. And then it started gathering news, right? People were enthusiastic and you can look at the curb going up. And once it got into the news, once you, people started streaming, video games started rising in value dramatically. Okay. So with that rise in attention come the rise in prices and up to this point it wasn't artificial you know some people might claim it was artificial because youtubers were in it but it was minor it wasn't such a big factor as what it is now market manipulation kicks in with greed and that might describe <laughs> a lot of youtubers correct but they weren't pushing games into the million or to the hundreds of thousands in, in most cases. You know, they, you'd see little scams here and there, you know, uh, but nothing like you would, like you saw with WADA and the whole debacle. The problem there is where, where it would deviate from this chart is that they got caught in the greed stage, right? Because right after greed, uh, you get delusion. When you start seeing these prices rise to a million dollars, everybody thinks they have a million dollar cart. And if they don't have it, they'll buy it off of somebody who needs five grand, for example, and say, you know, I'll buy that cartridge off of you for 5,000 because they want to flip it. They want to, uh, you know, make a little bit of money, 20%, whatever. They just want to flip these cards, but they're buying them at the peak, at the point where you don't want to buy them. And unfortunately, many of the public buys at this point where these guys have manipulated the market and they create a artificial need for higher prices for certain video games and then it gets to delusion where everybody thinks hey you know what this is a new paradigm everybody's going to be rich just hold on to your video games yada 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 and that's when the market manipulators sell they sell at the peak and they keep selling and it brings down the price and people, and this is usually the, the ones that get caught in the bull trap are people, regular people saying, wait a minute, they went down, but I know they went back up. 
So, you know, I'm going to buy it here. I'll buy it, you know, whatever price, say $10,000, because I know it's going to go back up. So when the public does that, the price, prices do rise a little bit back up, you know, say 10, 15 percent. And people are feeling good now. See, I told you, you know, this market was going completely up. And now the market manipulators, <laughs> they sell the rest of their stock and just slam everybody. And, and when that happens, fear comes in. And people that bought, you know, video games at $10,000, $12,000 will start selling them for $8,000 as, as they see prices going down. And the more they do that, the more they sell. And eventually they capitulate. They say, wait a minute, this was this was a bad investment. You know, this was no good. And it goes all the way down to despair where you're selling on, you're selling for do, uh, pennies on the dollar, right? And you're just trying to recoup anything at this point. And eventually it gets so low that game hoarders like me will come up and scoop them up, right? And then eventually it'll go back to the mean. But at this point, guys, it's a seller's market. If you have valuable video games, sell them if you don't want to keep them. If you're looking to buy, don't worry. Fear is coming. Capitulation is coming. All, all markets, all bubble markets burst, you know, eventually. And you have, if you have patience, you should be able to buy some of these games that you're so much looking for. If not, guys, and, you know, before all this market manipulation was out there, I wasn't a big fan of, of emulation, for example. But now with all this crap that's going on that's keeping people from buying video games, you know, just be patient, emulate, and then eventually <laughs> buy the games you love. If you really do love them, you will wait. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful for you. Okay, don't, don't get caught up into these schemes. Don't get caught up into this investment crap because eventually it's gonna blow up. Do not put any substantial amounts of money into any of these business propositions because 90% of the time, they're completely full of shit. All right guys, I will catch you on the next one. Take care. New videos every weekend and whenever I feel like it. Oh yeah, almost forgot, ring that bell.